plaintiff, Danielle Weatherall, dated the defendant for five years, and they have two sons together. Danielle claims the defendant was physically, verbally, and mentally abusive. Yet when she called the police on him, she was arrested. She's suing her ex for rent and emotional distress. Defendant Roosevelt Gordon says Danielle has called the police on him five times because she's trying to ruin his life. And the only reason she wasn't prosecuted for assaulting him is because he dropped the charges. Roosevelt is countersuing for a security deposit and car damages. Start with you. Uh, Your Honor, I've been with Mr. Gordon for well over five years. Uh, we have a two and three year old sons together. Um, during the time of being with Mr. Gordon, he was very mental, physical, and verbally abusive. Uh, he, he cheated a lot. He got caught up a lot. Uh, he put, he kicked me and our sons out on numerous occasions. Um, my mom passed in 2010, mm -hmm. and Mr. Gordon was there for me, and my son passed in 2012 of June 11th. Um, during that time, Mr. Gordon um, and I were, we ended up having two children, and we used to form a relationship from my losses. What type of abuse? You say verbal and physical? You verbal want to give me some physical. examples? Yes. Um, Mr. My son passed, and all Mr. Gordon knows how to do is say, that's why your son is dead with, his, with his dad, A. He texts it. I wake up to all the, the verbal and text you messages. You have any of those texts? He stole the phone just recently because it was evidence. Mm -hmm. All right. um, so he took the phone. I don't have it with me, but I have witnesses that heard and have been there and viewed everything. Just before you came okay. out, he was insulting me. Plaintiff Danielle Weatherall has two children with the defendant, and she claims he was physically abusive and is now stalking and harassing her. All right, insults are not uh, enough to win uh, yeah. judgments. Yeah. Uh, however, uh, you say he physically abused you, that's certainly... Yes. Um, he, uh, well, actionable. Mr. Gordon, I came home one day in 2015, uh, uh, September. Okay. I came home, Mr. Gordon had cut the lights, the gas off. He took the kitchen table and all the furniture to the home. What encounter had you all had uh, he prior walked, to that? Well, we, we just weren't getting along. And then he had a restraining order against him from his daughter that was living with me. She was in my custody because mm -hmm. he had a domestic against his child. So she was living with me. They awarded me custody of her. And uh, she was in the home, and he abandoned it. He had to leave, and he abandoned us. Mm -hmm. I was forced to have to afford the lemon for all of us from that mm -hmm. point on. Uh, prior to that, he had been... He didn't assault you that day? No, not, not that okay. day. He was, we, he was abusive before all of that led up. Mm -hmm. And with Byron's being toxic, it was just over no more, just because I wanted him to co-parent. Okay. Because we have sons, and I, like mm -hmm. I said, I lost a son, so okay. I want a co-parent to be an open option. Any other examples of abuse? Yes, he Because uh, you're suing for emotional yes, distress he jumped, based on that. He jumped on me. When? Uh, he jumped on me in, in December. Of and, what year? Uh, the 2015. All right. And when he jumped on me, he was beating me about the head. Our child ended up behind us, underneath me. Um, he threw... He was supposed to be supposed to been cooking uh, dinner, and he took the hot water to sling it on me. In return, I turned around because he was choking and beating me, and I bit Mr. Gordon, in which I called the police, and when the police came, they arrested me. And I ended up in jail. I've never been in jail, and I ended up Why going... did they arrest you? They arrested me because he had a bite mark, and they couldn't see my injuries. Was there a witness <clears throat> there? There was no one but ourselves. Okay. And what was that about? What started that? It started because I was taking selfie pictures. I had just got my hair done, and he said that I was trying to... Uh, send pictures out to guys or do something. I don't know okay. exactly why. What happened he, uh, with the case? Did they... The case was dismissed. Mm -hmm. And then prior to that, there was another case. But you were charged? No, I was not charged. Not charged. The judge okay. threw everything out. All right. Um, and, and prior to that, um, he jumped on me. Uh, he tried to fight my son a couple of months prior to that, and I intervened with him physically running towards my son to fight him. Mm -hmm. And I ended up, me and him ended up into a physical term. Whereas though uh, I called the police, and when the police got there to my home again, I ended up getting arrested. They threw that out. What was his harm that time? He had some fake physical that he, he's a welder, so he's easily showing them little stuff that okay. a pinch mark. She said uh -huh. barely a scratch mark was on Mr. Gordon, and uh, the, the time before that, it was a couple of months. It was like. Father's uh, Father's Day, mm -hmm. and uh, me and him got to another physical altercation. Each time, Mr. Gordon is very okay. intoxicated. Each time, I'm trying to let him come over and co-parent. It's never working. He's 19 years older than me. His son was living there. I asked the son, what do you want to do? We said we need to get him help. 
So we tried to, the police said, like, this is not just an alcohol. We keep coming here, he's under more than alcohol, that he's hiding the alcohol underneath the drug, and you just ain't seeing it. Leave it alone. After I was told that, I have left Mr. Gordon alone. Let me hear from you, sir, on this, on these assaults. And then well, we'll sir, get to on the uh, 2 uh, 15 uh, we got into a verbal altercation about a car and her son being in our house smoking marijuana and uh, bringing women into our house, which was the agreement that we made before we moved in, that he doesn't do these things. How old is he? He's 24 years old, 23 years old. And she allows this in her home. I don't allow it in mine. She tried to kick me. I have a police report here to verify what, exactly what happened. Let's see it. And it indicates that she called? It, indi it indicates, it doesn't indicate the caller, but she's the one that called. Okay, well, She I called think every she time called. the police have been to our house. She's called. The reason why, do you why think she, she called. Hmm? Why do you think she called? She called because she's trying to ruin my life. Ever since we've been together, it's just been a. a Did she a, only tried to ruin your life three times? No, sir. Over I mean, and over again, she's. Why do you the, think she didn't call the police more than three times? Well, she did call the police more than three times. How many? She probably called the police about five times. You five have those to six. reports. Okay, that's what I mean. Different dates, right? All different dates, sir. All right. She was prosecuted for how many of these? These are three, number one. You have the other Those two? Are all, the, yes, sir. All right, Those are all three two. that, that uh, I dropped the charges on all three because we tried to work things she out. She was charged? Yes, she no. was charged. No. Well, Your Honor, I, like I said, I was calling the police on Mr. Gordon for being physically abusive to me and us both getting into it. Him and my son had two altercations. And out of the five, he's of never own. been charged. And I, he got arrested before. One of them, he got arrested before. Nothing then, I see shows that. Well, all I can tell you is my word, because he took my car, which all of those police reports were inside and of the car. I didn't hear you say he was arrested yeah, when you were giving I'm me sorry. your testimony. He got arrested on Father's Day. And why he didn't he case. say that? I apologize. You told me yes. about the times you were arrested. Plaintiff Danielle Weatherall has two children with the defendant, and she claims he was physically abusive and is now stalking and harassing her. I don't know who's telling the truth about all these fights, so let's get to the rent. Okay, Your Honor, thank you. I'm suing Mr. Gordon because we, re we uh, signed a year lease in which Mr. Gordon, as I said in my statement, he walked out on us. I wasn't aware that he was leaving. Uh, Mr. Gordon uh, and I both paid a thousand apiece on security for this home, and this is the time when I'm saying his daughter was left with me as well as our two young children, which were one or two at the time. I have the lease, I have the letter he wrote her, and I also have the the information that yeah, she. Yes, see it. And how much are you asking for again on uh, the three, rent? Th three thousand mm -hmm. dollars for uh, for the remaining rent. balance of the rent that is old, so old to me. Okay. And uh, can you hand him this as well? What is it? This is from this is from the school. Mm -hmm. Just recently, Mr. Gordon just appeared at the school. Uh, he grabbed my children out of the school. I cut the corner. He was standing there cussing and snapping, and he took my kids outside and left them in the parking lot in which my witness here was outside to retrieve the kids as well as the school was running out because they like, oh my God, I was signing them out at the time. Mm -hmm. And they like, oh my God, he left them kids standing in the middle of the street like that. So then secondly, he, he comes up a few days later, pulls in the parking lot, calls inside the school, tells the school that um, I'm a drunk, I'm riding around with uh, drug dealers, call the people right away and hurry up and have her arrested and get those kids away from her. Then he insulted her, do your job, cussing her out, in which she had to hand the phone over to security. Okay. That's more of your emotional distress claim. Uh -huh. And who is this from? That is from the school. All right. Um, he continues to stalk and he continues to come up there. He continues to and badger And witness, me. stand up, ma'am. State your name. What do you know about the uh, uh, coming up to the school starting summer? Well, my name is Teresa Robertson. Mr. Gordon came to the daycare. We were there to uh, pick the kids up from daycare. He was already inside, so when she went inside, he began to step outside of the daycare with the kids and just, you know, kind of left them in the parking lot and continued to walk to his car. So I got out the car and, you know, had the kids get into the car. Okay. All right. And this letter from the school, sir, says that also a few days later, Mr. Gordon pulled in the lock call and stating um, Ms. Weatherall is an alcoholic drunk and needs to be called on by DCFS because she's riding around with a drug dealer. What do you say to this? I went to the school uh, the day. For what? That, uh, I went to the school to see where my children were. 
because she is actually riding around with a dope dealer in my car. Mm -hmm. She stole my car. You have the stolen uh, report, mm -hmm. police report up there. You I came went, up there angry, stood inside the, after that. I, you also told this uh, person at the school that she is an alcoholic and a drug dealer and riding around with drug dealers. Did you yes, do that? Yes, I did. All right. That, that you told the wrong person. You should have told DCFS. And if they'd have concluded that and you'd have had some proof that she did all this, then you could submit it to the school. And with regard to leaving her with the rent. What do you say to that? Uh, never did that. In uh, September, uh, we had a, another altercation about her son, marijuana, and her sister. And I went to my mother's house because the police was called. She called the police. And they told me that those people did not have to leave my home. So I left and spent the night at my mother's house. When I returned, she had changed the locks. And so you never returned to live there? I, ret I returned back to live there in October, October 15th. And I stayed until December, December 28th when she was arraigned for her domestic abuse. And she had me removed from the home. Here's a copy of that. You see it, please? Because she handed me something where you wrote to the landlord, say, I give permission to take my name off the lease. Yes, on I, have September. That I, I have that letter myself, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. That's 919. I gave uh, the landlord that letter mm -hmm. and uh, la landlord signatures here. Mm -hmm. Plaintiff Danielle Weatherall has two children with the defendant, and she claims he was physically abusive and is now stalking and harassing her. What are we talking about in terms of you living there? You told him on the 19th of September to take you off the lease. Yes, I so, asked him to take me off the lease. But now uh, you're saying you actually lived there some other months and yes, paid I lived, for some other months. I, I, lived, I lived there in October. Uh -huh. From the 15th of October, I lived there in November. So you I went lived, back to I, live I, with I, we, we no. went back together again. And it you was say an awful long no, thing. Not, I allow Mr. Gordon to come. It, he has, he to has get no his things. All right. You no have any evidence no. that you returned to live there? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, I have bank statements that show me giving her five hundred, uh, five, taking five hundred dollars no. out. No evidence and that I have, you moved back in there. In October, no, I don't have any evidence. I just have the. I just have the. They tell receipts. me you may have given money the, the for the checks, kids. The checks know. that I gave, I to have whom? I have those too. To whom? The sir? checks that I gave to the uh to the landlord. Let's see it. Mm -hmm. And sir, yes, sir. uh you've given me a check for January of 15. You go through them, sir. Third of 15. Now I'm not going through anything. You show me a check for October, November, and December to the landlord because what I you don't. just handed me was for January 15th, and we're talking about October 15th. Sir, you I... hand me a stack. No, I'm talking now. You hand me a stack, and then you say, "Go through them." I ain't going through nothing. You go through them. Hand me October, November, December where you paid them. Then you'll either get what you're saying or you'll get thrown out here with your case dismissed. Show them to me. Okay, sir. Show them. I, I don't want to hear a word. Can you show them or not? No, sir. Case dismissed. Judge me for the plan. Bye. <laughs> Bye. You lie you. and you continuously lie. And I God is good and God is great. I, God and I'm going to thank him for this devil. money food that I'm going to eat. Bye. Amen. Bye. 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 Liars. Bye. That's all I have to say.